Alton Towers claims to be the UK's favourite theme park and it does have more thrill rides than anywhere else in Europe. This year, for the first time, they've introduced a family ticket for £59. The ticket price includes two adults and two children and free admission to all the rides, exhibitions and other events for one day. It's the end of March, it's relatively sunny and Alton Towers has only been open three weeks, which means that the queues haven't started forming yet. When it comes to nail-biting white-knuckle rides, they say there's enough here to leave even the most hardened of thrill-seekers begging for mercy. We'll see. Nemesis is claimed to be one of the world's most awesome steel roller coasters, with G-forces approaching four times gravity. I've ridden this before and flown high-speed aerobatics, so I knew what to expect. Even so, it's quite an experience. Brilliant. It's really, really good. Oh, it was really fast, really scary. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Made you a bit dizzy. What about the queuing? It, it went weren't too bad. bad. It wasn't as long. I've been on it before. It was like an hour and a half. It was only 20 minutes this time. So. Does the queuing get on your nerves a bit? Um, no, not really, because you get to look forward to it. You get all excited walking around. You get to watch everyone else. Yeah. The park promotes the big five, which are Nemesis, the corkscrew, the black hole, the beast, and Ripsaw. More of that later on. And of course, they've got the Congo River Rapids. So if somebody had me to walk oh. oh. <laughs> What would you recommend about it? Uh, you get wet. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh! <laughs> 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 I'm How's Bugs Bunny do? He's uh, drenched. Yeah. <laughs> Alton Towers is the historic home of the Earls of Shrewsbury. The gardens took shape 170 years ago, and when they opened to the public in 1860, the crowds were entertained by acrobats, lion tamers, elephants, and fireworks. Even the Victorians had theme parks. There's about 25 rides here for the very young, and if you've got a toddler in tow, this is about as far as you're going to get if you're a parent. When we first started coming, which is what one of these are what very small, yeah. so that's about five five years ago. There wasn't so much, but there is there is now. I mean, there's the nutty squirrel ride and all the other bits and pieces for them. Is it an expensive day out though? On the face of it, it would it would seem to be so when you initially pay it, but providing it's not too busy and you get you don't spend too much time queuing. It works out cheaper than you would if you're having to pay for each individual ride when you went on. Do you bring food yourself or do you spend here? The first time we ever came, we brought food. Um, now, you either carry it round with you, which, which obviously can be cumbersome, or you leave it in the car and go back to the car, but then you're taking time out of your day to go back to the car, so we tend now to eat here. You'll get a queue, but it, you're moving all the time. Yeah. I think the longest we've ever waited is sort of 20, 25 minutes. We've been sort of like May and it start, obviously starts getting busier in May and then you're waiting 20 minutes, half an hour for, you know, um, the popular rides. And if you come in the school holidays, it can be a lot more than that in, in the summer. So we tend to come early in the year or the at the end of the year when it's quieter. Every few years at Alden Towers, they bring out a new ride to keep public interest high. This one is supposed to be a bone shaker. It's supposed to be wild, and it's certainly wet. Hold tight, please. I don't recommend having any food before you go on this. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Oh dear me. <laughs> well, 
it was certainly worth the queue and the others seemed to enjoy it, but I'm not quite sure it's as good as Nemesis. One word of advice, though, wear waterproof clothes. And my verdict on the family ticket? Well, it's good value being a saving of £7 for a typical family of four, but you have to book in advance. Watch out, too, for voucher offers in the newspapers. You might save even more money. However, beware of the queues. They're getting longer as the weather gets warmer.